Hello, welcome to Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao. Now, tonight, the Speaker of Parliament has called on the Ghana Football Association to rethink their strategy towards football development in the country. Now, speaking at the opening of the fourth session of the Parliament, of Parliament the Speaker bemoaned the performance of the Black Stars at the African Cup of Nations tournament, insisting that the team represent the country's very pride and cohesion for which the team need to improve going forward. He also called on the Ghana Football Association to draw up a comprehensive plan that will help find solutions to Ghana's problems. The Black Stars and their handlers must know that they represent more than just a football team. They are a symbol of our national pride, cohesion and resilience. They must therefore endeavor to rise from the ashes of these setbacks and demonstrate to the world the true power of Ghana's football. It is high time we huddle together to discuss the current state of Ghana's football and consider a comprehensive strategy for the future. Sacking of coaches is not the panacea to the challenges. We must evaluate our football infrastructure, youth development programs, coaching standards, and administrative structures to identify areas for improvement. Our national teams should represent the breadth and diversity of Ghana's football talent. Ghanaians must invest in a holistic and sustainable development of sports and culture. Parliament will appreciate an opportunity to work with other stakeholders towards this common goal. Now, the Bortemann Sports Complex is, amongst, uh, is almost ready to host the several sports and disciplines in the upcoming Africa Games 2023. Now, the games set to take place in Ghana from March 8 to 23 will have the sports complex as one of the main venues for the anticipated event. With 21 sports and disciplines in the lineup, including swimming, tennis, badminton, and volleyball, the Bortemann Sports Complex is shaping up to be a handy venue for athletes and spectators alike. Joy Sports Fentio Tahiru has been touring the facility and he came through with this report. Welcome to the Boteman Sports Complex. This will be the home of the 13th Africa Games. At a cost of $145 million, this facility is newly built and will host 10 of the 26 sporting disciplines that will take place here in Accra. Come on, let's go inside. I'll show you around. The road to Boteman Sports Complex is nearing completion and connects the facility to the Tema Motorway on the south side and East Ligon Hills to the north. Inside the walled complex are six main structures, each with a distinct purpose. There's the dome, the green building, the red building, the blue building and the administration block. Upon entry into the facility, the dome is the conspicuous first structure that meets the eye. It is a multi-purpose sports hall with a seating capacity of 500 people. It is designated to host events such as handball, judo, karate and taekwondo. It comes complete with changing rooms, bathrooms for both athletes and spectators and a cafeteria area. It is the only indoor competition area not fully covered, with the north and south sides both left open. This has raised concerns about harsh weather conditions like rains and heavy winds possibly disrupting competition. At the time of our visit, the facility appeared completed. The green building is the ultra-molding hardcore tennis mini stadium, with a seating capacity of 1,000 people. This is where all the tennis action will take place. It comes complete with fitted seats, VIP seating, commentators boxes with the tennis nets all already faked. It is an impressive edifice 
that will become one of the biggest attractions of the Boteban Sports Complex. So apart from the competition tennis courts, which has a sitting capacity of 1,000, just outside of it are the warm-up courts. There's four of them in total, fully fitted and ready for competition. And for any of you that might be in doubt as to how much Team Ghana could Put this into use. A reminder that in 2015, Wisdom Na and George Darko combined to win Ghana a gold medal in the men's double uh, tennis event. So, tennis is actually one of those sporting disciplines that could give Ghana a medal. And these courts will be playing a key role with regard to that. The Red Building is the main multi sport hall. It comes with a seating capacity of 1,000 spectators. This will be the venue of four main events, boxing, badminton, volleyball and weightlifting. It comes equipped with commentator boxes and VIP seating. At the time of our visit, this appears to be the structure with the most work remaining, with contractors still on site working on critical areas such as fixing the air conditioning. But contractors told us they're confident work will be completed in a couple of weeks. The Blue Building is the aquatic centre, which houses a brand new nine-lane Olympic swimming pool. It has a spectator capacity of 1,000, but some of it apportioned to VIP seating. And there are two yet to be completed mini cafeterias. This is one of the things I'm most excited about here at the Boteman Sports Complex, the aquatic centre. And it's not just a competition swimming pool that has been put up here. There is a warm-up pool right here. And what you see here is a nine-lane warm-up pool. And uh, it's the place where all of the athletes who will be competing will come in and warm up is relatively shorter than the competition uh, uh, pool itself. This is only 25 uh, meters long, half of the length of the competition pool. And right across, if you just follow me, is where the competition pool itself is. And there you see a nine lane competition pool. It's Olympic standard. And Ghana has a very bad in swimming scene. A big crew Jackson has set the pace many times. In fact, the book on boxing uh, arena or the Snit Sports Emporium, which has a pool of its own, an Olympic sized swimming pool, does not have a warm up uh, swimming pool or does not have a warm up track. This one does. And this, for me, with 1,000 people seated here, could be one of the biggest attractions of these particular games. And beyond the games itself, this presents us with an avenue and opportunity to host multiple uh, swimming competition, international swimming competitions. The Sne Sports Emporium has already hosted a number of swimming competitions, international swimming competitions in Ghana, but this takes it to another level. Water for the pool, as well as the entire water supply of the complex, will come from this 130,000 litre water storage facility, which sources its water from two boreholes constructed inside the complex. The recreational area of the complex comes complete with tartan trucks that can host track and field events. But work still remains to be done until it's ready for use, with the lanes yet to be ruled on the track and grassing on the field remains an ongoing process. Joy Sports has also confirmed this is not a certified Mundo track and records run here will not be accepted by World Athletics. The grassworks on the lawns remain one of the busiest aspects still being worked on inside the complex. The harsh weather conditions not making it easier for the grass to grow faster. There are four car parks inside the Botiman Sports complex with a combined capacity of over 600 cars. There are also 40 parking lots for disabled persons, with 12 spots assigned for motorbikes. Government has indicated it will convert the complex into a university for sports development after the Africa Games. Hence, the administration block, which currently houses offices and meeting rooms for officials of the Games. These will then be converted into an admin block for the university after the competition. And then there is the absolute best thing about the Boteman Sports Complex. All of it will be self-powered. Let me explain. 
What you see behind me is a treatment plant for waste, which is converted into gas to power the facility. And of course, the capacity here will be dependent on how much waste actually comes into this particular facility. So the more people use it, the more it can actually power itself. But for sure, there's ECG and there's generator plants as backup. But the thought that actually went into this is absolutely laudable. And so when we host the rest of Africa, rest assured, the power will be constantly supplied. From the Botiman Sports Complex, Fentu, Tahir Fentu, for joining us.